welcome to the Chompcast. My name is Morgan Barnes. I'll be your host today. I am joined by my good friends and fellow co-hosts here at Sword Chomp, Joshua Fowler. Ha cha cha cha. <laughs> and Anthony Fisher. Hot diggity dog, I'm here. <laughs> uh, and uh, we have a, a really fun show today. Um, trying a new sort of experimental format, our fellow co-host and good friend Shay Layton is actually flying right now to Japan, so we wish him the best of luck. Hopefully he's here next week with all sorts of cool stories from Japan. So um, It's going to be a weird show, but it's going to be a fun show because we wanted to try something really fast and frenetic and weird, uh, sort of inspired. Have you guys ever seen the show uh, Around the Horn? Ah, yeah. You talking about that ESPN show? With, yes, sir. Uh, Jim Rome. <laughs> oh, is it Jim Rome now? Oh, man, back in the day it was so different. When I, I haven't watched it in a while. so I'm pretty sure it's Jim Rome still. I um, haven't watched it in a while either. But it's like well, four, four faces on the screen, and they all go back and forth just hitting main points on uh, uh, whatever topic they're talking about. And then I guess they grade them. They give them like a points to see who's actually – making the most uh, points or most, yeah, points as far as on the topic that uh, sticks, I guess. I don't know. Sometimes people yeah. have, like, these strong opinions and, like, the guy doesn't really agree. So he'll, like, just uh, – he, he could even have the power to mute him, I guess, which I always thought was kind of fucked up. But um... <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I, can't mute, I can't mute you, Josh. I'm sorry, no matter how badly I want to. <laughs> <laughs> God, he's so good at that creepy laugh. Like, it <laughs> just gets to me, man. Uh, Josh, have you done any haunted housework or anything? No, I may have a future in that. The free freelance haunted <laughs> housework. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's like, yeah, like when people come to people and they're like, have you ever worked at like a carnival before? I'm like, eh, you know, people have never asked me that, but I always wonder, you know, you can't be offended by that stuff. I, a haunted house would be some fun <laughs> stuff. Um, but fuck, before we get too derailed, yes, loosely inspired by that fish, um, but not quite so serious. I'm not going to have you guys debating each other necessarily. It's going to be fast and loose, um, just like a fun way for uh, listeners to get to know us a little bit. And at the end of the show, we'll have a little more freeform, open discussion about video games, because that's what we love. And uh, But it's going to be fun, so I want to keep you guys on your toes, all right? So here are the rules. Are you ready for this? No. Do I need pen and paper? No, no, no. There's only two rules, mostly for our listeners and you guys. Now, the fun thing about this for our listeners is uh, my co-hosts here, Josh and Fish, had no idea what was going to happen. They're just kind of doing it because our good friend's flying to Japan, and it's kind of a weird week, and we wanted to do something quickly to give uh, you know, our listeners some content. So <laughs> they don't even know what's going on. So that's what makes this really fun and probably terrifying for them. Um, there's only two rules. One, all responses have to be under 20 seconds. Okay? Hmm. Okay, so uh, anything that's up to the top of your head, but it's a funny tangential story or something serious, you do have an opportunity for a hard pass. That's the second rule. You hmm. can you can pass. A hard, it has to be a hard pass, though, Fish. Okay, we're not, we're not going pass. with shot clock time. <laughs> Only twenty seconds. Well, yeah, well, when there's <laughs> no, I don't basketball want to time. <laughs> Give it four more seconds. <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, when I'll kind of, I'll kind of, you know, be a host and I'll quietly behind the scenes rein it in. If you guys are going over 20 seconds, like, uh, th th thank you, fish, for that. Okay, moving on. <laughs> um, so you guys don't stress about that. Just know that. Just keep it about 15 to 20 seconds. The idea is just to keep it short and succinct, and uh, go with the first thing that comes to your head and just have fun with it. Um, so those are the two rules for our listeners: under 20 seconds, and you can pass if you're either uncomfortable with the topic or just don't care or have. Yeah, you're just kind of like, yeah, I don't have anything to say about it. Passing is okay, all right? Okay, so pass. we pass it on to somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> no, when you say pass, it goes to the, then I know to move on to the next person. So it's only you and Josh, obviously, and myself. I'll round them all up. So basically, just say pass, and I'll, I'll guide you along. Now, um, you can't pass on every question, Fish, all right? I know you're going to want to. <laughs> <laughs> Not every single one. All right. All right. I believe it. <laughs> but I can have as many as I want, though, technically. Yeah, yeah. technically you can. Just secretly behind the scenes, much like uh, around the horn, I'll just be marking you as a fail for every question. So mm -hmm. you'll lose at the end. No big deal. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, putting one more pin into the voodoo doll, shaped like fish. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah. Not passing now. Uh, you know, you don't don't get on Josh's bad side, Fish. Um, <laughs> there's only there's only one winner here, Fish, and it's always Josh. No, but um, <laughs> <laughs> so the, all the topics are gonna be fun, ranging from silly things to serious things, and then toward the end they're gonna be gaming related to kind of ease us into some video game talk. So here we go. And I'll kind of I'll, I'll let Josh take these all first because you know Fish has a little podcasting anxiety, so I'll give him a second to collect himself. So be thankful, Fish and Josh. I'm sorry, but you know. <laughs> thank you. Uh-huh. So the first one, I'm gonna give you guys a softball here. Okay? I was thinking about this the other day. This is gonna sound like a silly question, but our friend Shay is traveling to Japan, and I was thinking about this. And gun your head. What is your favorite like go to? You had to pick one. American Asian cuisine restaurant, Josh. What's your, what's your go to? So Asian food in America, not like yes fusion. Okay, um, ooh, probably some hole in the wall place. Like every place I've ever been, that's the best place to get Asian food is from someone who cannot speak English to you, and there are so many of them, which is what's just great about America. You can find amazing Asian food. From someplace right next to your house, usually. Yeah, yeah. Nice, good. Kind of like a hole in the wall joint. What about you, Fish? Mm-hmm. Um, I, I kind of want to say the same thing as Josh, but I also like to go to this place called Taste of Asia. I don't know if it's all over the U.S., but it is Americanized. Um, but it's just Taste pretty of stand- Asia. Is it like a chain? Yeah. It, it, there's two locations here where I live. Um, mm-hmm. I think it might be just a chain here in Texas, but I'm not sure if it's anywhere else. But, um, yeah, that's me and my family absolutely love their food there. Um, I've ordered so many numerous stuff off their menu, including sushi, egg drop soup. All of it's just really good from them. It's all really fresh, and it's prepared right then and there. Um, it yeah, looks like there's more. I just Googled it, and I see some in, like, Washington and stuff. So hmm. maybe it's oh. a larger oh. – um, <laughs> well, know, they they, they well, do have Asians running the place, but they also have Mexicans in the kitchen. So. <laughs> well, it is Texas. I should have chance. They guys. can't afford to actually, you know, pay Asians to cook the food. It's you know, <laughs> yeah, that's that's yeah. like the finer dining downtown. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the illusion. I can't afford that. Mm-hmm. They um. You have migrant yeah, they, cooks uh... making your <laughs> making your food there. They have this really good say. place um, here in Montana called Umami, but I'm not going with that because I wanted to take the generic route. I'm going with Panda Express because it's the one everybody knows, and it's fucking great. I don't care what anybody says. And uh, Go ahead, Fish. I don't know. I was, just, <laughs> I was just agreeing with you. Yeah, it is good. I was hoping Fish was going to take that as his choice, and I will Pass. say tangentially. <laughs> Panda Express, yeah. keep it unite. <laughs> I will say that tangentially one time when i was driving to las vegas me and my ex-wife picked up panda express about halfway to vegas and uh, it was delicious i had the whatever the spicy beef is there it was uh just fantastic but i gotta tell you the next eight hours in that car were not pleasant for anybody so <laughs> it's not a good time uh but goddamn panda express is good disappointing me fish i was thinking you were gonna go panda express and i was gonna ride your coattails there uh-huh <laughs> uh, but see, that was a, see softball favorite restaurant. Easy. That was an easy question, right? Mm-hmm. They're only gonna get harder um, or weirder. No, I'm just kidding. All right. So I actually saw this the other day. They're doing a live action version of Mulan. I don't know if you guys have uh, how you guys feel about the Mulan uh, classic Disney movie. My girlfriend had some strong opinions about this. Unfortunately, cannot be on our podcast. Um, but briefly, um, they're doing a live action version of Mulan. And it's not going to be a musical. Do you have any thoughts, Josh? Hmm. I don't know how that's going to be not being a musical. I mean, I can see how they can make it into a drama, but I don't know. I, too, like the idea of changing it up that much because so many of the Disney movies lately, I mean, especially if you look at Beauty and the Beast, it's basically shot for shot, the original, just with live action. So I'm interested to see a new direction anyway whether it pans out or not, just to see how it works. I like the optimism. What about you, Fish? Um, Yeah, I like the... I would really miss the musicals of Mulan. 
I really got down to it back when it first came out. I actually saw it in theaters with my classmates. Um, oh, weird. And, was it like a field trip or something? <laughs> yeah, it was a field trip to the movies, and our classmates all saw it. And, like, uh, the the school I went to in California was in San Diego, and there was just a bunch of Asians in my class for some reason. And, like, they were like, oh, we already saw this movie. I was like, huh? It was like, And so they were, like, telling me all these parts that were coming up. He's like, you're going to really like this part. It was like Mulan, like, taking out the whole army with that one firecracker. I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah. uh, I, I would miss I guess the musical part of it but um, as a live action yeah I'm, I'm curious to see how they do like the dragon and uh, the cricket I guess even if they're even going to be in there I'm just curious to see what kind of direction they would actually take so so not a hard stance either way. I mean, my girlfriend was really frustrated. She said that, like, she loves musicals, and that was Mulan is her favorite Disney movie. So whenever they said that, she's like, well, they're doing all these other live-action Disney movies. She, she's not opposed to the change, but it's just like that was her favorite one. Um, yeah. I've, I don't know. Yes. I, I mean, that's kind of why I'm fine with them changing it. I mean, that's – the original's always still there, really. Yeah. 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 That's true. That's true, I guess. So speaking I mean, of kinda, the Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. I don't know if you guys had seen it. It made $174.8 million this weekend. Um, that was actually going to be my next question. I was wondering if you guys ha- had seen it or if you had any curiosity in seeing the, the new Be- Beauty and the Beast movie, Josh. I haven't yet, but the whole family wants to go see it, so I'm probably going to end up seeing it here before too much longer. It's just hard to get out to the theater with a baby. They'd, he's he's finally getting the age where he'll sit through a movie. Um. <laughs> But yeah, we we haven't gone to a theater in forever. Um, it is just, not easy, not yeah. easy with a baby. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you are gonna go. Are you are you going fish at all? Any curiosity or what? Uh, well, the, <clears throat> I really didn't know this movie was coming out. I really didn't follow it. I, I didn't. I knew it was coming out. I guess like a week ago, but um, I don't know if my wife or daughter won't mention it about going and see it. Uh, I'll definitely probably go see it. But other than that, I I have no urge whatsoever to go see that movie. None um, whatsoever. Okay, so nah. it doesn't not striking you. <laughs> well, nah. That's okay. That's the whole point of this game. You have to I have to get a strong response from you. So no interest. Unless Maybe there's family interest, then I'll join them. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I was watching Bob's Burgers. Um, last night and the guy asked him if he was like had any plans for the weekend he was just like um i have a family i don't make plans <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's how it goes with the, with the big so i'll family. get back to you on that <laughs> it's like sure the family's going i guess i am yeah uh, I, and i annoyed my girlfriend because she I, I you know some of the music seems like it might hold up better as an adult like i was hearing some of the stuff in the trailer and i was like you know I don't remember thinking like I had that much affinity for Beauty and the Beast, but I was hearing the music in the trailer, and I was like, maybe this will be good. Um, but my girlfriend just got annoyed because she knows I have a big crush on Emma Watson, so she <laughs> wouldn't let me <laughs> didn't want me to go see it because I would just creep out. So I annoyed her by sending fake nude pictures of Emma Watson to her all day on her phone because that's just the kind of person that I am. <laughs> uh, all day, Josh. Very tasteful. Yeah. <laughs> tasteful. As one just... does. Yeah, they're just they're the most ridiculous fake photos ever. Just barrage her all day just to make her want to kill herself. Um, so, yeah, Beauty and the Beast. Transition here, hard transition. No hard passes yet, guys. I'm proud of you. Um, something a little more serious. I don't know if you guys had seen this, but it was, it was pretty big news about Obamacare will live on. Um, I had been following this pretty closely because of just some different elements in my life, you know, also um, – uh, some things that circumstances that happened to me with my job and my personal health care and, and living situation. But um, in short, the health pa- the health bill that Trump tried to get passed did not. And Obamacare will live on. And despite there being more Republicans now in the House um, with the dissension, they failed to pass it. And it was a big failure. People are saying on Trump's part. Uh, do you got any thoughts on this, Josh? Uh... I mean, it needed to be fixed. Like, Obamacare did some really good things in really dumb ways, um, for the most part. And, yeah, I there were no solutions given, so obviously the lack of a solution.